Economists study relationships between decisions made by households and businesses, the role market mechanisms play in coordinating those decisions and the effect of government policies on market outcomes. In so doing, they rely on quantitative methods for drawing conclusions based on data. Data types differ in terms of their structure and require appropriate modeling techniques. My research focuses on developing suitable quantitative methods for dealing with a specific type of data, namely panel data. Such data contains information on a number of units, such as individuals, firms or countries observed repeatedly over a period of time. Let me illustrate this with an example. Think of a situation where we observe a group of individuals over several months. For each individual, we gather information on their age, level of education and experience, wages, the area they live in, and much more. This is exactly what we call panel data. Economists then want to measure the effect of one variable on the other using this data. For example, the effect of education on wages, which can then be used for policy related decisions. For this matter, it is important to be able to identify the pure effect of one variable on the other. In this particular case, to separate the effect of education from other variables that might affect the wages. However, not all such variables may be observed in the data. Innate ability or talent are among the unobserved factors potentially determining wages. This describes the unobserved heterogeneity problem, the situation where some part of the effect on the variable of interest is attributed to the variables we do not observe. With the help of panel data, we can control for unobserved heterogeneity and obtain correct estimates of the effect under consideration. The early approaches controlled for two types of unobserved heterogeneity. First, individual specific characteristics, which are constant over time. In our example, this could be innate ability, which is assumed to be constant over one's lifespan. Second, time varying factors affecting all the individuals in the same way. For example, changes in labor market regulation. However, in most scenarios of empirical relevance, those methods are unlikely to be enough to account for important sources of unobserved heterogeneity. In the wages example, we are not able to account for time varying individual effects, such as employers valuation of the skills of their employees. This has led to a development of new models in which the unit and time-specific effects enter in an interactive way. The most popular existing approaches to estimating such models rely on the theoretical assumption that both the number of units and time periods are large. This condition is rarely met in practice. For example, we typically don't have data on the same individuals for more than a couple of years. Surprisingly, it is common to apply the existing methods to the data sets where the time span is rather short. And this is exactly where my work comes into play. I examine the potential consequences um, for the estimation of the effect under consideration uh, when the commonly made assumptions are not met. I then propose a set of solutions to bring the theoretical and empirical worlds closer to each other. And that would be pretty much my research in a nutshell.